Hi everyone, doing a second um, unboxing of Sakura Ko uh, box treats from Japan. And I have another little dolly helper here. That is Jeannie B. She already has her hands out waiting for something good because she heard that dolls who help get treats and Fuji helped last month so she gets to help this month. So we're going to open this up and see what's in here. I don't know about any of the rest of you who have this subscription, but I actually haven't even finished my treats from last month. Um, there's, I just have the teas left and uh, one of the savory crackers. Um, I just haven't been brave enough to try it yet because the savory crackers were not uh, my favorite. I'm definitely more of a sweets person, um, but I tried it all, so I really did enjoy it, except for the last couple things I have. So um, I'm just going to go through this box um, and see what's in the second subscription our second box from Sakura Co. We have a postcard with some greetings from the makers. Another um, but, uh, book telling you uh, descriptions of each treat and kind of where they came from, what's in them, and more information about the makers of the treats. So clearly this month the uh, theme is Makta. So there's going to be probably a lot of uh, green or earth tone looking foods. Um, I have, um, they kind of look like pretzel rods, so they're probably maybe a savory thing. It says Sakura Carinto. Um, all the nutrition facts in Japanese on the back. Kind of feels soft um, so it could be maybe a sweet treat I like the paper that it's wrapped in um, I have a cake actually this is called Bamkuchen and it says milk and Ichigo which that must be the flavors um, but Bamkuchen I know about from a manga and I'm actually really excited to try it as um, supposed to be really thin layered cake that's rolled up into this circle shape um, to get just a really um, lovely soft textured cake so I'm actually really excited for that item and actually it looks like there's two of them which is pretty cool um, so I, I don't know if that's the exact same flavor it looks like it milk and Ichigo um, there's two so I suppose I could share maybe that's the one that Fuji will get or Fuji, uh, my little helper here. Jeannie B, I don't know if she can hold that. Let's see. Eh, it looks too heavy for her. She's going to have to go for something smaller. Let's see what else we have. Um, candy in there. There's definitely something loose and crumbly in there. It reminds me of, like, um, the butter packets that you see in restaurants in the U.S. that, like, foil uh, little lid in the plastic. That's what the foil feels like. Um, I don't know. We'll have to find out what that is. And there's a second one of them. Also something in there. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the box in focus here. Um, another one of those uh, soft feeling little cake things. Maybe that's what Jeannie B wants. If you want this, Jeannie B, here you go. All yours. Maybe in your hands. Here we go. Enjoy. Okay, let's keep going. Um... Well, this is like really big. Um, maybe that is some type of chip or something. I can feel like there's a, it feels like there's a container in there, but it could just be whatever's in here. Maybe those are like waffle cone type things, sweet or savory. Only the book can tell us, or you can do like me and just guess based off of um, the pictures. Like don't just assume that something pink is sweet because I was very much tricked by that last year, or last year, last box. Um, here's another little rolled up cake. You can definitely see the green uh, makta in there. Um, oh, and it has like a filling. Oh no, maybe it's open. Let's see. Does it look open? I don't know. It's hard to tell when I'm looking at it through the phone. Um, there's two of those. Second one. 
Look at all these goodies in here. So many goodies to keep going. Um, oh, so these are similar to what was in the first box. I thought they were macaroons, but they are more like, um, I don't know, they're kind of like airy cookies, but the first one had like a sweet red bean paste, and it wasn't totally sweet. It was like just sort of sweet, and I actually really enjoyed it, and I'd never had something like that before. So here, this one's a little smushed. You can see inside there, definitely some more green looking mocha flavor. So I think these must be by the same um, people who made the first box, or that treat from the first box. Um, and I'm excited to try that because I did enjoy it the first time around. So here's the next thing. Um, this shows it with tea. So definitely another Macta flavor thing. This looks almost like a big version of those littler ones we just looked at, the two smaller ones. Um, could be interesting. We have something cute and pink down here in the corner. It's like a little candy. And once again, don't be fooled by something pink. It doesn't mean it's sweet. It could be savory, but that definitely looks like a candy of some sort, like a jelly candy. Um, but it looks pretty good. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus again. There we go. Um, what else do we have? Oh, there's a second one of the little cute pink things. Almost certainly a candy. We have another soft um, thing which kind of looks like a cake. Almost looks like a fruit cake just from looking at it. Um, but definitely green, so there's that mocha flavor again. Um, ooh. I wish I could read Japanese. I should really learn. Um, this feels soft, but also layered. Could it be like a fruit roll-up maybe, or some kind of baked good? Um, I don't know, but probably almost certainly mocha flavored with that green looking stuff. Um, another big fluffy baked good thing. Oops, let me turn this right side up. It says uh, Makta Azuki Waffle. So there's the image. I like waffles and I definitely enjoy Makta. I'm not sure about it being in a uh, baked good, but I will try it. Um, this looks like applesauce, maybe? <laughs> Made in Japan. That's all I can read. Oh, look, it's kind of like a gel. Um, there was something similar to that in the uh, first box, and it was it was like a pinkish color, so it was Sakura. Um, but I I didn't uh, eat all of it. I tried it, but I didn't I didn't finish it because I'm just weird about textures sometimes. So this looks similar to the first box. Um, the uh, plate that came. So I think that this is a cup. So I'm gonna try to set this up here so that maybe without my hand getting in the way too much and we can open this together. So, and oopsie, okay, that didn't work too well. Let's see. Sorry, that's like my house in the background, just sitting at my table. Um, so, here it is, a little teacup. And it has that same kind of I wonder if this is showing. I can't tell. I'm going to pick this phone back up. Um, it has the same kind of floral motif that the um, little plate did. So clearly it's a match set. That's really cute. It's like just perfect for a cup of tea. I'm actually surprised that I don't see any tea in this um, box. Nothing left in there, right? Um, maybe it is in one of these packages and I just didn't recognize it. It could be these, maybe. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe that's like loose tea leaves in there. Um, but just look at all those goodies. Once again, cute little cup. Nice box. So um, if anybody else out there is getting these boxes, I hope you're trying everything and enjoying it too. And please share your thoughts and comments. Thanks. Bye.